In this video I would like to show you how to use the PC WSB1. The WSB1 is delivered in a robust case. In the delivery you can find the following items. An instruction manual, the measuring device, a white standard, a black standard, two test boxes for different materials for example powder or granulates, batteries and a glass plate. Now we come to the starting of the WSB1. For this we turn the measuring device onto its reverse side and take the battery lid off. When putting the batteries inside it is to watch the polarity. The polarities are marked on the base of the battery compartment. When the batteries are inserted it is recommended that before the first measurement to do a calibration. By the calibration it is a two point calibration. That means we have a black standard and a white standard. To calibrate the device we turn it first on. For this we push the button on the side of the device. After it is turned on a measuring value shows up on the display. To calibrate we need to set two setting buttons underneath the display. On the left side is the setting button for the black standard, on the right hand side the setting button for the white standard. We start with the black calibration. For this we put the measuring device with the opening onto the black standard. If the value varies from naught we can set the value with the setting button. The black calibration is herewith made. For the white calibration we use the white standard. On the white standard the degree of whiteness is noted. In this case 80.9. First of all we take the lid off the white standard. With the white calibration we do exactly the same as by the black calibration. We place the measuring device onto the white standard and wait until the value in display is stabilized. When that has occurred we can adjust the white standard accordingly. In this case it was 80.9. The white calibration is herewith carried out. The whiteness measuring device is now ready to use. Now we can start the first measurement. In this case we have several printing paper on top of each other. The whiteness degree of the uppermost piece of paper is 86.8 degrees. Next to paper or textiles you can with the WSB1 for example plastics or lacquers or porcelain measure. Also in the delivery you can find the powder boxes. With the powder boxes you can for example measure granulates or different powders. Now we will do a measurement with a powder related material. In this case it is sugar. For this we pour a certain testing amount into the test box. The box should not be filled up over the overflow rim. After this we use the glass plate and press the powder flat so that we have an even surface.
Then we can, by using the measuring device, determine the whiteness of the powder. As soon as the measured value is stabilized on the display, we can read it. In this case, it is 76.4. And now, a few important notes. If the device is not used in 15 minutes, the WSB1 turns off automatically. With partly transparent materials like paper or textiles, it is important to make sure several layers are laid on another. Otherwise, the partly transparent leads to that the surface beneath is measured with it, and false measurements come out. A few technical informations to the measuring device. The measuring device has a measuring area from 0 to 100. Herewith is the white degree after R457 determined. The exactness of the measuring device is 0.1. Exactly the size is also the resolution. The measuring device conforms to the ISO 2470 as well as ISO 3688. Next to paper and textile, you can also with the WSB1 measure for example plastics or lacquers or porcelain. Also in a delivery you can find the powder boxes. With the powder boxes you can for example granulate foam materials measure and also different powders. The measuring device has an opening of 15 mm. In the measuring chamber the D65 light source is built in. The measuring geometry is 45 null. To be aware by the whiteness measuring is that there are not only one whiteness or that whiteness. In the past there are lots of whitenesses being developed, which are for different usages. One speaks of whiteness after Berger, or whiteness from Hunter, or from whiteness from Hans Grieser. The PCWSB1 determines the whiteness R457. This whiteness is commonly used in the print or paper industry. It is also suitable, for example, in a textile industry. Following sources of error can happen. On the one side is the watch that measurements are only done on flat surfaces. On a curved surface, for example, would result that light sources from around are measured too, and that the measured result would be false. Other errors could arise when the measuring device is used in dusty or dirty areas. This means that the measuring opening is dirty and can through this errors also occur.